Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Let's Play Outer Wilds. So, I think what we're gonna do... ...is try... ...to get to Brittle Hollow and fly inside the planet. Well, that was nice. Good job, autopilot. Okay, is it is it possible to get inside the planet? Maybe not. But I definitely Okay. Cool. Because I saw one of those stones. Oh yeah, it's a tower. Right, we've been here. Okay. I'm convinced we can fly into this planet somehow. It's gotta be better than I am. Okay. That was easy. No, we gotta keep ourselves away from this. Perfect. Listen here, you. Take me back. Can't go into the white hole. That doesn't work. Fine. And our screen is cracked. Like, that's awesome. So you can, in fact, fly into the planet. It's just hard. Neat. Now I did notice an exposed mountain on that moon. So maybe we try that. Let's see if we can land on that. Wait. 
We'll give that a shot. We have some time. And we have all the time in the world. So we'll go check out Brittle Hollow's moon. Dark Bramble. Not the planet I want. Here we go. So we don't actually want Brittle Hollow, we want to check out its satellite. Which can kill us. Okay, we avoided a collision with that planet. Seriously? Why would you do that? That was so dumb, game. What happened? I didn't even like I <laughs> seriously I just activated my rockets to jump on top of it. That was what I wanted to do. I didn't know you could like terminal hull breach destroy everything. That's dumb. That's super dumb. <laughs> like Alright. So maybe what we do this time <laughs> is uh fun stuff. So as far as how I am doing, which I'm sure is what everybody is worried about, nobody's worried about that. Nobody's worried about that vertical sandwich. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, you know, um, I'm not working as much as I normally would be, but it's this is our slow period of the year anyway. It's just super slow this year because you know, pandemics. Okay, so let's try not to blow up the ship again through no fault of our own. It was that that was the autopilot's fault. Okay, Ember Twins I don't care about. I really just need to get clear of my own planet. Okay, what are you? You're the Adelrock, aren't you? Yeah, okay. And you're the Dark Bramble, and I don't like you. You scare me. No. Hollow's Lantern. There we go. Hollow's Lantern is a thing. And we can autopilot to it, so that's good. Because then we will have the option of matching velocity with it, and we won't have to worry about it destroying us. Hopefully. Hopefully. So here it is, and those things, uh, those things look like volcanoes. So now we've matched velocity with this dumb thing. We were supposed to have matched the velocity with this dumb thing. But now we're right over it. So matching velocity doesn't doesn't work. Alright. 
So there was that. So let's just try to get into the interior of Brittle Hollow again. Uh, kind of cheating the way we, we were doing earlier in this play. So yeah, things are, I mean, things are alright. There's, I got some, you know, I got, I got stuff going on. I've always got stuff going on. Good stuff and bad stuff. As far as presidential biographies go, I'm up to John F. Kennedy, which means I've only got uh, two more after that, because I'm only reading up to Nixon. Which means the the goal of my past, like, five years of life is almost realized at this point. With all this time off, I, I don't expect that it'll last much longer. And then I can just, uh, I'm done with Hugo Award winners, so I can just read what I want to read. Which is just more science fiction. <laughs> really, it's just a lot less science fiction lists. Okay, so we brittle holler right away. Give it to me, give it to me. Don't run me into the planet! Ugh! I, I mean, give me some credit for, uh, give me some credit for having the presence of mind to turn off the autopilot, run around the planet, and, uh, everything else, right? as smooth a landing as you could get. There's no way that landing could have been smoother. That was a perfect landing. It was a three-point landing. If not a ten-point landing. I think it was a ten-point landing. Neat. That was like perfect. All right. Want to get down there? Don't want to get down there. Well, I don't know what, you know, full up boosters are supposed to do for you, but apparently not let you survive that. Ruined my perfect lane. So that was just going to take us to the shuttle anyway, and that's not where we want to be. I mean, really, I should go to the Sunless City. I should go check out the Sunless City. Because my information chart says that that is connected to the Sun Station. And I'm pretty sure at this point, since it's not trackable, that the Sun Station is where we want to be. The Sun Station tends seems to be the real mystery of this, this, this thing. Okay, 14 seconds away. I'll take that. Is it the best thing I've ever done? No. 
Is it the worst thing I've ever done? Oh no, not even close. Not even close to the worst thing I've ever done. But what's around here now? Really don't like the shadow of that moon above me, considering it's a flaming ball of death. Let's look at the flaming ball of death. There it is. Being a flaming ball of death. Perfect. Perfect. Is that thing blowing holes in the crust, by the way? Well, there's one way to find out. Trees detected. Well, great. Places and things. All right, well, this is where our shuttle was, wasn't it? I mean, there's other areas inside of this planet. Isn't there like a teleporter that'll get us here though? Something. Yeah, we'd have to go past the black hole to get to where we want to be. No, whoa. Well, there we go. A drift in space forever and ever. Can't autopilot to that. <sighs> I don't want to white hole station this whole thing again. Okay. Nice, I missed. Perfect. Easy every time. But I don't like doing this. It's just gonna take me somewhere I don't want to be, which is which, which is its own pain. I can get back in there. Alright, so when we come back, uh, more of this.